Hello everyone, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. Today I'm going to give you a brief tutorial as to how to use Advanced MAME. As you can see here, I've got a fresh install of Advanced MAME. I haven't done anything or set anything up yet. And for the purposes of this video, we're going to use Mega Duck or Cougar Boy. If you follow along with me on screen here from a fresh install, you want to go to this folder. Or if you're doing it on a handheld, just opt and you're going to want to download the binary from my website and then drag and drop it or from the GitLab I should say GitHub and then you want to navigate to this folder and you want to attempt to run the binary the reason that you want to do this here is because it will create the configuration files which you will need later to be able to run things so this is an important step and you want to make sure that you do it also, especially on the handhelds, Advanced MAME gets picky if you change the permissions of the folder, the .advanced folder in, <coughs> in home. So don't do that on handhelds. Now you can open this advanced MAME.rc and just use it as a dummy file, basically. If you want to switch your BIOS location, you want to control F, type in ROM, locate this line here, line 46, where it says home, Aries user, Aries ROMs and you just want to change either one of these to wherever it is for you so home Aries user Aries BIOS home Aries user you know whatever slash ROMs slash BIOS if you're using a handheld now that you've done that and you've copied the contents of this the reason that you want to do the copying is because you're gonna need an RC file for your mega <laughs> mega duck so you want to create this RC file copy and paste everything into it and then just save it and exit. Now, in my situation here, this is going to be a problem because it's locked and therefore I won't be able to make changes to it. However, on the handheld, that's not really an issue. Here, though, you can just go ahead and chmod the file. On a single board computer or a PC, it doesn't generally get in the way. Let's try 644. Nope, didn't do it. 777 it is. That did it. Okay, so now at this point you've got advanced MAME installed. You've got the RC files set up. You're going to want to make sure that if it's on the handheld, you need the launch command in the ES systems config. And if it's not, then you need it in the opt Ares emulators in the run command settings. You also need to add your game files, which I'm going to do quickly here. I didn't set this up ahead of time because I wanted to go ahead and do it on the fly and just sort of show everybody as it's going on sort of deal. Bear with me as I connect my hard drive here and swap everything over. I'm just going to copy these over into the internal ROMs folder. As you can see here, the config for Megaduck. This is on a single board computer. On a handheld device, this, the Opteries, blah, 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 with the config and the RC, that would be inside the ES system config directly as part of the launch command. Here, now that I've switched back to the other one, I'll show you. I popped the SD from a handheld build in.
But first, quickly, just to show you that you can now play Mega Duck after following those instructions here. On the handhelds, the tilde key is generally the default. Sometimes it's escape as well. Here it's auto-detected the keyboard on the single board computer, so it, it's defaulted to keyboard settings. Also, you notice this the processor is Z80 or Z80? It's a Zillog. Very old school. Very early 90s, late 80s. F1 brings up an on-screen keyboard, which is honestly useless if you have a keyboard already. There's another menu that comes up when you're using the handhelds, and it'll allow you to change the input settings. The distinction is important because it works slightly differently on a single board computer or a PC than it does on a handheld. Alright, now I'll show you what I was talking about with the ES systems config setting. See how the the launch command that would be used by run command is instead used directly to launch from the ES systems configuration? This exact same setting would work on a single board computer as well, but there's no purpose in doing that when you have run command to run everything for you. Take a quick look inside the RC file. This is on a handheld, keep in mind. <clears throat> but you can see that the joystick configuration has changed. It's not just keyboard, there's joystick, joystick, or keyboard. I do think it's important to keep keyboard as an or option as well. Otherwise what ends up happening is you, you might mess up and you won't have any way to fix it, and that's never good. So that's about it for advanced MAME. It's not quite as cryptic as it seems, it's just a learning curve. Thanks for watching. Take care.